Let's take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. I was listening to a short chat that uh, Gary V had with a young lady that uh, had been suffering from depression and anxiety and was able to get out of her victim mode. And I thought it would be interesting for us to explore the power of positivity a little bit. It reminded me of a study that has been made on how many thoughts we actually entertain each day in our brain, in our mind, and how how many of them are actually positive. And uh, research shows that the average brain has anywhere from 25,000 to 50,000 thoughts per day, and 70% of them are believed to be negative. The study goes on to say that the negative thinking is actually the depression speaking. It's what depression sounds like. Depression, in fact, manifests in negative thinking before it creates negative effect. Which means that before getting depressed and being in a state of depression, we think certain thoughts. And we've spoken quite a lot about this about stacking the negatives in the case of depression or stacking the positives in the case of gratitude. Gary Vaynerchuk goes on to say that positivity drowns out the negativity. And it makes perfect sense, right? Like if we have between uh, 25,000 and 50,000 thoughts per day and 70% of them are usually negative, Consciously choosing to think more positively, like 20% more positively or even more, to be at least 50-50, that actually leads to a different life, basically. And I think that this beautifully explains how we work as human beings and also the fact that we shouldn't strive for perfection. We shouldn't beat ourselves down if we feel negative feelings or we think negative thoughts. But we can shift the percentages and we can give more attention to the positive. Even if we are not 100% positive or 100% of the time positive. The fact that we give ourselves consciously more positivity, it's a really nice gift to give ourselves because we will have a much better life experience than we did when we had more negative thoughts than positive ones as a percentage. I think we work much better as human beings if we don't feel pressured to do something, like with the idea that we hear from time to time that you should be grateful. I actually did an episode on this and I really don't believe that guilting ourselves into feeling grateful is doing us any kind of favor. But getting back to positivity, drowning out the negativity, as you know by now, gratitude is amazing when it comes to drowning out the negativity and getting to see and to appreciate more the the positivity that we have in our life. I recommend at least thinking about and becoming aware of the blessings that you have in, in your life and they may be really small, For instance, yesterday we ordered pizza at a friend's place and uh, somehow we got to get there in time at the precise moment when the pizza arrived. The pizza guy didn't have to go up four floors and we didn't have to wait at all for the pizza. And it was really cool that uh, it happened like this. So I'm really grateful for that even though it's a bit funny how we work because it's harder to be grateful for for this small thing but it's much easier somehow to get annoyed if um, the pizza took much more than we expected than we were hungry and stuff like that but this is another topic the point is that it can be something really simple that we can be grateful for 
and of course writing it down is much more powerful. If you want to write it down on your phone, whether that's an Android or an iPhone, I recommend Gratitude 365, which is the app created by my friend Justin Sebastian. In my opinion, it's the best out there and he's also very open to improvements, to ideas. I've sent a few and he's implementing them. Of course, I recommend listening to the interviews, to the life stories on the Gratitude Podcast. They can be extremely inspiring. It really puts things into perspective. And also the shorter episodes that are focused on different topics. You have over 400 episodes to choose from. So that can bring a little positivity in your life. And whenever you feel down, come back to the podcast listen to a story, listen to a short episode. This can really balance out things and it can give you a higher percentage of positivity and like Gary Vee says, it can drown the negativity. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe and like always, keep seeking gratitude. My name is Anthony Capazzoli. I am the host of the Dismantle Life podcast and I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict after nearly 40 years of addiction. I have been clean and sober for nearly four years and work hard to help others find recovery. Join me each episode to learn from my sober superhero guests and how they went from the darkness of addiction into the sunlight of recovery. Dismantle Life can be found on Digitent Podcasts, Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.